Hello guys. Um, I know we haven't uploaded in a long time, but we're back with another video. So this one is about window key associated sh keyboard shortcuts. The first one, I bet many of you open Windows File Explorer often. So Windows E is a very easy, I mean, shortcut to open it really quick. Windows E, and I close that. Windows R opens Windows Run. Windows Run is a um, program in which you can uh, type the name of an app, folder, or document, or anything on the internet, and Windows will open it. The next one is Windows T. Windows T basically showcases your taskbar, and suppose you keep pressing Windows T, it takes you forward in the taskbar. The next one is uh, Windows Num. So now I press Windows 1, and it opens the first application on my taskbar. I press Windows 4, it opens Snip and Sketch that way. Now, Windows L is a way to lock your computer. I cannot do it here because then the recording will not, I mean, will stop. Um, the next one is Windows D. So, now suppose I have opened Firefox, Snip and Sketch, Settings. All I have to do is press Windows D and um, all, it, all those apps get minimized and I can see my desktop screen once again. Now, uh, similar to that, we open settings and snip and sketch press on snip and sketch suppose you want to put snip and sketch on the left hand of the screen all you have to do is press windows and the left arrow key and now you want to take settings to the right this is a nice way to i mean optimize uh, the way you work the next one is control windows d which uh, isn't very useful but it helps you create a complete brand new desktop like suppose you press it all the apps would have gotten closed but you can still go back to your uh, original desktop the next one is um, windows m similar to windows d it can minimize the apps windows m next one is uh, yeah this one is one i use frequently windows period is uh, one to open the um, emoji library windows full stop basically the next one windows tab next one is windows shift m so suppose uh, you do windows m windows shift m reopens those tabs once again basically okay now now we get to letter windows windows a opens ca uh, action center this side the next one is windows g bar okay that easy okay the next one is windows k so windows k opens connect so that we can connect through i mean bluetooth and stuff the next one is windows print screen in my thing it is windows function print screen uh, in most of the uh, computers, Windows 10 computers and laptops, it win it's Windows print screen. So, it takes a screenshot basically. Windows X is to open the quick list menu. Basically this one. That you get through uh, uh, right clicking on the start button. The next one is Windows S. So, Windows S basically opens the search bar. Self-explanatory in the name. I mean in the shortcut. The next one is Windows P. Windows P opens project settings. So now suppose I duplicate the screen. I can go back to PC screen only. It's pretty cool. The next one is uh, Windows Alt uh, D. Windows Alt D opens the date and time. The next one is Windows C. Windows C launches Cortana, which according to me is the most annoying AI. The next one is Windows Y. Um, this doesn't make sense to me. Windows H opens dictation feature. So you can basically uh, select a text and it will dictate it for you. Windows H. To use dictation, select a text field. Next one is Windows Space. Windows Space will help you change languages. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, in these times, please stay safe, wear a mask at all times. Thank you so much for watching.